Today, I'm going to be showing you around the bamboo villa we're staying at here in Salah. Wrapping up our final moments here at Wehem, I'm going to have a quick shower, some breakfast, and then we're going to head off to our new Airbnb, which we're staying in tonight, which is just as exciting as this one. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you must go. Bye. So we've arrived a bit early, but as you can see from here, it's pretty similar to what we just left. So welcome to our villa for the next three days here in Salat. I'm going to give you a nice walkthrough of exactly what this villa has to offer. So this space here, a nice little couch, you can chill out, look over the rice views, although we've got these big plants in the way, still nice and relaxing. Or grab a book and sit in this hammock for a few hours. Got like our kitchen. This part is one of my favorite parts of this villa. Come through. This really nice sink, a nice little brush our teeth here, our showers here, and then the toilet. I really like that it's outside. You really can hear all the noises. At the end of this pathway, we have our bathtub. It's a bit weird, actually. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> right now, I'll show you my favorite part, which is upstairs. So this part of the villa is definitely my favorite part, which is the bed here. Got a nice uh, hammock or, I don't know what you call these things. I think they're like a net bed. That's what Emily's been calling them. Where you can come here and chill for a bit. Wow. As well as the net bed, we've got a nice balcony here, which is where Emily and I have been sitting and relaxing. I've been doing some editing. Uh, and with just a great view next to us. So one of the craziest things about this villa here in Salat is you're right between the rice fields and then behind here is a whole jungle. One of the scary things about staying in this villa is there's no locks to the place. There's just a safe in the room, but literally anyone can just walk in at any moment and probably find their way into our room. We can lock it from the inside, but you can't lock it from the outside um, to the point where like no one can come in apart from us. So we just have to keep our stuff in the safe and hope no one comes in. But we're gonna head out for some lunch now um, and see, well, go on a walk hoping to find lunch because like this place is probably one of the most rural areas we've been to in Bali so far. There's not much around apart from a few local houses and small local village about 15 minute walk away. So we'll see what we can find and we'll update you then. So this is where we would have been staying and they actually cancelled on us because it was under construction. And it looks like it still is. That's unfortunate. Apparently there's a big impact because during um, July there was a lot a lot of rain through this, uh, especially in this part, in the central part of Bali. It really suffers from a lot of rain. In July, it was crazy, apparently. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we got to this nice little restaurant here in the outskirts. Oh, Silat. <laughs> Well, it's probably, this is like the main town center of, of Salat. And um, I've ordered a kebab, chicken kebab. Emily's ordered the nasi, nasi goreng. goreng. Keep it um, safe. My stomach wasn't doing well yesterday, so we're trying to keep it light. Let's see how my stomach does after this kebab. Um, but let me get the first bite. Is that good? Hmm. Very nice, actually. I'm not going to record this because I've had this meal five times already. Yeah. So. <laughs> I could have told it though. Okay, so we just <coughs> finished here. That meal was about 82,000 rupiah. One thing about 
this sort of area of Bali is everyone else is everyone's so uh, friendly. Not to say that they're not friendly everywhere else in the island, but I guess because there's not many tourists here, they're so excited when they see tourists. Um, maybe Cedarman's a bit more touristy than here. Salat is seems very much like locals only. So everyone keeps saying hi to us, which is quite funny. And we've made it back to our villa. Feeling good? Yeah. Right, after that long walk, I'm gonna have a nice cold shower. So one thing about this villa is when it gets dark, it turns into an ASMR heaven. <laughs> The noises around us can sometimes be quite frightening, but when you understand what is actually around us, it's, it's quite soothing. Like all this bamboo, there's loads of little geckos crawling through to find their food, obviously, so you just hear them throughout the night. It sounds quite scary, but as you could hear, they're everywhere. <laughs> Emily, do you like the sound of these bugs? Emily is not enjoying it as much as I am. I have to say, there are points where I was like, what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> but now, I'm getting used to it. All right, now we're in our cozy little bed. Emily's got her headphones on. It's been really cool to show you this amazing villa, but we've got more exciting videos to come. Tomorrow we're heading to Nusa Penida, which will be in a video soon. You'll get to see it's known for its manta rays and snorkeling around there. Thanks for watching this video though. Go watch the other videos because they're good like this one. And subscribe if you like this kind of content because there's so much more to come, I promise you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.